Hey Seahawks and welcome back to Seahawks Central News. We've got a great show for you today with information about Port Sea Java reopening after nearly two years, masks being optional for students in a few days, recent name changes to buildings on campus and more. I'm Garrett Wishon. And I'm Boyce Recker. Sit down and stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. In January, Seahawks were excited to learn that Port C. Java was reopening at the end of the month after completely closing its doors due to COVID-19 in the spring of 2020. Port C. Java is finally back at UNCW and Randall Library for its students and staff to enjoy. The coffee shop, which originally opened its doors in 2013, specializes in coffee, tea, smoothies, pastries, and desserts, and has been closed for quite some time. According to stu store workers, they wanted to come back better than ever and follow all of the COVID guidelines. I spoke to April Sass, an employee at Port C. Java, and she said, It is very exciting to be open again. We are getting a lot more traffic than previous years, and we are looking forward to an exciting rest of the semester. Not only are the employees excited about the reopening of Port C. Java, but so are the students. I sat down and talked to Mary Beth Burgess, a freshman at UNCW, to see her thoughts on the coffee shop being open and why she likes it. Yeah, as a freshman, Port City is a great place for me to go with my friends and just do homework. I get a smoothie, I get a coffee. It's just a great place to hang out. Port C. Java's hours are Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Go by and visit for some delicious coffee and food. Now we have Maddie Murphy in the studio tonight to talk to us about two very influential figures in the community and how they have impacted campus to change the names of certain buildings. Maddie? Thanks, Garrett. Yes, the names of both the Student Recreation Center and the Natatorium have changed in the past couple of weeks. As of February 21st, the Student Recreation Center has officially become the Pat Leonard Student Recreation Center to honor the late Vice Chancellor Pat Leonard. Pat Leonard was the long-serving Vice Chancellor at UNCW, in which she held for 24 years. Over that time, she was involved in overseeing 20 major construction, green space, and renovation projects, which included seven housing projects and, the, and nine student support buildings, which include the Recreation Center. According to Chancellor Sardarelli, Pat Leonard dedicated herself to generations of students at UNCW. The Recreation Center is one of many special buildings, projects, and services she championed during her decades here. UNCW's Seahawk Natatorium will be renamed the David B. Allen Natatorium to commemorate Dave Allen. Dave Allen was the head coach of the program for 37 years and has established the school's highly successful diving and swimming teams. The ceremony for the Natatorium will be announced at a later date. Here's Boyce Rucker to tell us about a recent event at UNCW. Boyce? Thank you, Maddie. Yes, rarely do we see both graduate and undergraduate students come together outside the classroom, but when they do, productivity takes shape. This past weekend, film students came together at King Hall for a town hall meeting hosted by the Film Studies Graduate Association. The meeting focused on how the film department can further implement diversity, equity, and inclusion. Students are able to air their concerns and suggestions in a safe space with no film faculty in sight. Topics discussed include gender, race, and internationality, particularly how the faculty can add more representation to the department and the films being studied. FST GSA President Alexis Dickerson states why it is important that she and her colleagues bring these concerns to light now more than ever. We care, we care about them and we care about this program and we want to see it be the best version that it can be. And we're aware that it's not there yet. Uh, there are moves to move forward in the right direction but we want to help push that further. And that's why we do this, and that's why we want this to continue on even after today. It may take a lot to make change happen in the film department, but a piece of where it starts is with students speaking up in a safe and open forum. As of recent guidance from the UNC school system and decline of COVID-19 cases at school, UNCW's leadership and health team has decided to ease COVID restrictions on campus. According to Peter Hans, the UNC system president of North Carolina's public universities, the act will be effective on March 7th. Face coverings will be optional at indoor and outdoor UNCW locations. Well, that's it for us this week. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to UNCW Teal TV on your favorite social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Have a great spring break, Seahawks. Have fun, stay safe, and we will see you next time.